Hi, I'm Don. This video is a shopping list of classic Vallejo model color paints that you must have. Also, we're painting this Gulgatar miniature from Journeys in Middle Earth. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Other than these very awesome brands, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. Today, we're painting over black primer. I'll quickly explain why. But basically, painting over black means that you could paint or leave areas, very thin areas of black paint so that you create better separation in between different elements of a miniature. Also, painting over black means that you are forced to paint like many layers of colors before you build up to your mid-tones. By painting more colors and more layers of paint, you create more volume. And again, since you left like very thin areas of black or dark colored areas in between elements of the miniature, that means that it reduces the need to paint or to do recess painting. And we all know recess painting can be a bit like you need to concentrate a bit. It's almost similar to highlighting. It's a necessary step. But if you can reduce that step, that is super great. Now let's go back to our shopping list. Basically, we painted the green skin with dark sea blue as our underpainting. Also, we use burnt red for the red parts of the clothes. And we also use burnt umber, which is also a must-have for any, like, it's, it's a good underpainting for any light-colored stuff that are brownish or warm, like skulls and horns and teeth. And for the grays, you need basalt gray and eventually neutral gray and of course silver gray for non-metallic metal painting and such. You also need to get this medium gray. This is great as an underpainting for horns or even skulls. So having all these model colors that you've seen so far in this video will make painting from black primer faster and easier. All this underpainting, the dark sea blue for the greens, mahogany brown for the brown parts, and burnt umber for the really brighter like colors before you paint medium gray. And of course, burnt red or cavalry brown, you have nailed all of the dark base colors. So now it's a matter of just layering up or painting the base colors. So you might ask, you have really opaque paints. For example, you want the green skin to be olive green, so you could actually paint olive green over black primer. But since we painted with dark sea blue first and then we build up with turquoise and then eventually with sick green and then the lime green or golden lime, we have more volume. Since painting different colors, darker colors, and layering lighter colors on top of each other, making sure that the painting is smaller, we're painting smaller areas as the colors get lighter, we create more volume. There are two basic ways to avoid island layering. Island layering is that you create patches of the different colors that you use for layering. That is okay if you're not aiming for good quality or high quality golden lemon painting. But if you want better transitions, what you need to do is one, you could mix the colors, the, the colors that you use as your dark base colors and the next color. Basically, mixing the previous color with the current color that you're using or you could add a bit more medium to the next color that you're using and thin down the paints a bit more so that you have semi-transparent paint that you layer on top of the previous color so by doing proper layering by mixing the previous color and the current color or Painting, layering via fat glazes or simply using cuttlefish colors because those are pre-glazed paints, you create softer transitions and smoother layering. 
Now you see in the video, I'm using cuttlefish colors because these are pre-glazed paints. Thus, the layering of fat glazes or like my layering is simply smoother because I'm working with semi-transparent paints. However, if you don't have cuttlefish colors, you could simply use the paints that you have. You just need to add more medium. These days, I highly recommend, of course, the Cuttlefish Merlin's Medium. But if you don't have that, you could see in my older videos, I always prefer the Vallejo Thinner Medium. Of course, you could use water to thin down your paints and add transparency, but I always prefer my mediums. Now you can see that after painting the dark base colors with the must-have classic model color paints, it's just a matter of layering up to lighter colors so that we create nice volume. And you can see in the painting of the miniature that because we painted over black and we left thin areas and the recesses black, we have really nice definition and separation in between the elements of the miniature. Now, it's a matter of adding more and more highlights to the model so that we create better like interest and better separation in terms of the textures and the elements. No, the materials of the elements of the model like very shiny metallic parts, not so shiny skin and not so shiny leather. So differentiating the different materials in one miniature will really create a good meaning now we add like fat glazes and shades so that we create more color depth with our miniature these three cuttlefish colors are also a must have because you could use them in any of your miniatures this dark blue color is great to add shade and volume to your greens and blues and even skin tones and for the red shades you could use this cavalry brownish color this is burning vermilion and it's perfect as a shade for any warm color the box skin here is a nice yellow ochre color that is perfect for rust effects and also good for skin glazing so that you have smoother skin painting now we are about finish and it's time to thank all my patrons A ton of thanks to all my bronze, my silver, and you see here my gold level, my platinum level, my palladium level, and my partner tier patrons. Without them, this channel won't be possible. Now we are finished. I hope you could see in the final result that it's kind of obvious that you create more volume by painting more colors and by painting over black primer you're kind of forced to paint with darker base colors first and then you see the very nice and defined definition in between the elements of the miniature lastly i'm inviting you to our discord channel community i'll put the link below that's it pansit